Welcome and welcome back to S. Wiggins TV. As always, I'm your host, Worldwide Wiggins. We finally got it. The Pomona documentary is here. Or should I say the mini documentary? Because, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure my, my Pomonians probably got a lot more information that they would like to put out there. But hey, this is just a start, right? Before we get started, man, let me let you know. I interviewed Treyway Daddy, man. He's a reputable for Pomona Mafia Crib, and it's actually gonna be dropping right after this interview. So please go check that out. It might actually even overshadow this one, but hey, it is what it is, man. Now let's get started, bro. Made y'all wait long enough. <laughs> As promised, today we are gonna be doing a mini documentary on the city of Pomona, California. And believe me, when I say the Pomona is very important to our culture. With that said, it has contributed to the rap music industry, the film industry, and other industries as well. Let's take a look at Pomona's influence on the black culture. Pomona, California is home to the LA County Fair. As a kid, I got priceless memories here when I had just came to America because I had never seen a carnival here in real life. <laughs> but like I was told, people would come here from different hoods, LA, Riverside, and San Bernardino County. And the local hoods, you know, that's in the area would bang on them like, hey, where you from? At the fair. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Next, let's get into some film. The Hughes Brothers, two of the most talented young filmmakers, young black filmmakers to ever work in Hollywood. They were originally born in Detroit, but they moved to Pomona, California when they was nine years old. Now, if you're not familiar with the Hughes brothers, then I bet you definitely familiar with they work. They are most known for producing, in my eyes, the best hood classic movie ever, Menace to Society. As they got older, being little kids that was brought to Pomona, California, they were put under the tutelage of John Singleton, who had just created another hood classic, Boys in the Hood. And he taught them the ropes of the film industry as young black brothers trying to make a way. They definitely made an impact with that dope ass movie. So it's definitely kind of safe to say without Pomona, there would be no menace to society. <laughs> they also directed Dead President. I ain't really like that. I f menace to society all day. <laughs> Hughes Brothers also directed videos for Tupac, Spice One, many others. Shouts out to the Hughes brothers. Now, when it comes to actresses, Pomona is also known for being the home to the very beautiful and talented actress, Jessica Alba. She appeared in films like Honey and the Fantastic Four and Honey and Fantastic Four. <laughs> what happened to Jessica Alba, man? I ain't seen her in a minute, you know? I don't like light skins, but I'll knock the dust off of it. She got that Mariah Carey thing going. You don't know if she black, mix, Latina, but she could get it for sure. You know what I'm saying? But speaking of smashing and thinking dirty, you know who else is from Pomona? This dude right here, Mr. Marcus. Honestly speaking, your mind is perverted. You probably know more scenes from Mr. Marcus than to the Hughes brothers and Jessica Alba combined. <laughs> Women too, y'all been playing with y'all since you was 12 years old. Think way back. Yeah, Mr. Marcus is an adult film star from uh, Pomona, California. He's won countless adult film awards. He's also affiliated with the Angelo Mafia Cribs. Like, I'm not saying he's a member, but he definitely, he definitely has time. And speaking of dirty talk, in LA, you know the number one hostro is Figueroa Street. But in Pomona, Hope Boulevard is the equivalent of Fig. If you know, you know. But see, I didn't know that. Somebody had to tell me. <laughs> now, when it comes to sports, I'll, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'm not into sports. I don't know nothing about nothing when it comes to sports. But did you know Delaney Walker, the tight end with the Mississippi Titans? Is from Pomona. Yep. And also, one of the best baseball players of all time, Mark McGuire, who played for the St. Louis Cardinals, is from Pomona, California as well. Oh, so we got some, some athletes out there, huh? For sure. Now, my favorite part, let's talk about music. When you talk about underrated on the West Coast, especially on the West Coast, this man is definitely one of them. 
He's the definition of underrated when it comes to music. I'm talking about the one and only cocaine with a K and no R's. If you're not familiar with cocaine, here's a few songs that could probably freshen up that memory. That intro to the East Siders. So high, you can't get over it, damn. This is a hit. This is a hit. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, like this, or like that. Uh, East Side Long Beach drops a hit, son. Oh, come on, don't get me started, man. And uh, he did that other song with Snoop. Uh, I don't want anybody. The wrong idea about me. Oh, my little homie. <laughs> yeah, that's cocaine singer, man. And he got the star with Easy E, the neighborhood sniper. I'm a real Easy E fan, so you know, I know, I know most of his songs too. And if you didn't know as well, cocaine is the one singing on the Gangster Chronicles intro. Gangster Chronicles, this is not your average show. That's cocaine right there. The list go on and on. He's really talented and he he sang background vocals for a lot of songs, a lot of West Coast classics, homie. Real talk. And I don't just say that about anybody. He, you know, you know, he dope. He's really dope. No BS. And I love Easy E, so I'm gonna hit you with a fun fact. Did you know that Cocaine Daddy was one sick? Did Easy E pay for him to get his surgery? Yeah. Easy e was a real one, man. That's why I love him so much. It shouts out to Cocaine. But speaking of Cocaine family, he comes from a, a, a long line of talented musicians. And you know, I'm not really, I don't remember if it was his mother or his father or whatever, but yo, know, one of them, I'm close. They wrote songs for Little Richard, Jackson 5, The Temptations, Just My Imagination. You know what I'm saying? This man comes from nothing but musical geniuses, man. And Warren G once said in an interview that G Funk didn't really come from Compton or Long Beach or none of that. It actually came from Pomona. Now, I don't know about that. You know what I mean? We could dispute that. <laughs> yeah. But also, speaking of Easy E, his rap group that was once signed to Ruthless Records, Above the Law, they got that song, Black Superman. And they went platinum or gold back in the day. They from Pomona. And we gonna get into their hood affiliations later. Remember in the NWA movie, Straight Outta Compton, when Easy e homies clashed with Ice Cube homies at the escalator? They was like, hey, what that ruthless like? That was above the law. That was Easy e bro. Yup. Sugar Free is also for promote. Now, he's for sure a legend. And don't take my, my words out of context. You know what I'm saying? And that track record he put down but DJ Quick is undeniable. But I gotta keep it a hundred. I'm just not a fan of his music. You know, it's kind of silly to me. Yeah, I don't really like his flow. I'm a pimp and I walk with a limp. You know? yeah, I don't wanna hear that shit. <laughs> but that's my right as a tax paying um, immigrant. <laughs> I was gonna say American. But nah, he's a legend, man, for Pomoda. It's all gravy, man. Yeah. Salute, black man. Now, as far as the hoods. Pomona is flooded with gangster cribs. It's predominantly a gangster crib city. You got the Ghost Town Cribs, known to be for the 456 Island Park Rules. The Neckland Gangster Cribs. Remember Big Payback on Gangster Love? Uh, what do you say? The Pomona Necklace Bend Down. Damn, it feels good to be a badass gangster. Like find me anywhere with the mad-ass gangster. And no disrespect to Neighborhood Crib. I ain't gonna say the word. Y'all love y'all, but the NAP Gangster Cribs, also in Pomona. The Southside Village Cribs in Pomona. Evil Side Cribs is in Pomona. The Trey 57, aka Sintown Gangster Cribs, is in Pomona. And from what I'm hearing, Above the Law, Cocaine, and Sugar Free is affiliated with Trey 57. Now, Above the Law might got another uh, affiliation with the other members, but we're gonna clear that up later. Now, I tapped in with the Pomona Mafia Cribs. Like I said, we got coming up. You already know, Pomona Drake music, he from there, right? The Pomona Mafia Cribs, like I said before, is the only hood in Pomona that's deuces. Next, the only Paul Rules in Pomona, 456 Island Paul Rules. Give them their respect, man. They push a cold line. They surrounded by nothing but Cribs enemies. And by the way, 
They was responsible for starting the Oak Park Bloods up there in Sacramento. So, man, that's a lot of power in Pomona. And to the homie from 456, I was supposed to do the interview with you. I got you, bro. I ain't forgot about you, bro. I'll be doing like four, five interviews a day. I'm tied up right now, man. But we gonna do it ASAP. Believe that. Right? And lastly, man, at one point, Pomona was known as like kind of like the capital, man. The market was real high. And the essays over here is super duper ruthless. And I'm here to allegedly, what the reports say, they uh, chipped a police officer right in front of the courthouse. Wow. Damn. I could go further on that subject, but, you know, I don't really talk about Latino business. You know, it gets tricky with the politics and it's real crazy. So I'm going to stop that right there, man. But, yeah, man, it's just a little dime slash dub sack, you feel me, for the city of Pomona, man. Who else, who else did this? S. Wig has done it, man. You already know, man. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, man. And make sure you watch that Big Dev interview, Treyway Daddy interview. It's coming up next tonight. Real talk. I'm out of here.